Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you how to download and install XTAF version 2.3, the simulator for analysis of electromagnetic transients in power systems. I am Guilherme Cirillo from Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry. Firstly, I will explain the operating environment requirements to run XTAP and then explain about the required software to install it. Then, by using screen recording, I will show how to download it from www.xtap.org and how to install it in a Windows 10 machine. XTAP is a simulator for the analysis of electromagnetic transients in power systems and it is available to everyone for free of charge. These are the operating environment requirements to install and run XTAP. The required operating system is Microsoft Windows version 8, 8.1 or 10. XTAP can run in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. The required memory is 2 GB or more for 32-bit systems and 4 GB or more for 64-bit systems. However, 4 GB or more for 32-bit systems and 8 GB or more for 64-bit systems is recommended. The required software to install XTAP are the MathWorks MATLAB Runtime R2015B 32-bit version and the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 or near. Both can be downloaded for free. Microsoft.NET Framework is usually already installed in Windows machines, so it usually is not a problem when installing XTAP. However, as it is necessary to download and install MathWorks MATLAB runtime, caution is needed when installing XTAP. In the first place, what is MathWorks MATLAB runtime and why is it needed to install in XTAP? The answer is, it is necessary for running XTRC and XFIT programs, which are contained in XTAP. MATLAB Runtime is a program required for running compiled MATLAB applications. MATLAB Runtime can be downloaded for free from the MathWorks website. Please note that MATLAB Runtime and MATLAB are not the same software. Therefore, even if you already have MATLAB installed, it is necessary to install MATLAB runtime. Moreover, even on 64-bit windows, it is necessary to install the 32-bit version of MATLAB runtime. Thank you for listening. From now on, I will show how to actually download and install XTAP in, in a Windows 10 machine by recording the PC screen. First of all, you need to access www.xtap.org. Then you go to the upper menu and click on download. So please click in download XTAP version 2.3 for Windows 64 bit. Then wait for your download to complete. After you extract all files, there will be created a folder. Please enter in this folder. In this folder, there is the setup application and the installation guide. When installing XTAP, please check the installation guide. As it is written in the installation guide, it is necessary to first download MATLAB runtime. 
to download it please go to the mathworks website and go down to r 2015b 32 bit and please download it after you finish it, downloading the MATLAB runtime please place it in end folder and start its installation by double clicking the installation file then you select yes and wait until it loads after this screen appears you click next then you read the license agreement and if you accept the license agreement you click yes then you click next and install it after you finish the installation of MATLAB runtime you click finish after you finish installing MATLAB runtime please go back to the folder where the XTAP install is located and double click setup then please wait until the installer loads when you see this screen please click next then the license agreement is shown please read it and after reading it, if you accept the terms, please click on that option. We can, you can also print the license agreement. So if you accept the terms, please click next. If you do not accept the terms, please stop the installation of XTAP. So in this case, I accept the terms, so I will click next. Then select a destination folder for installing XTAP. The default folder is in the C drive and there is no need to change it. So if you install it on C drive, please leave it as C drive and click next. Then click in install. If you see any screen like this one, please click yes and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation is finished, please click in finish. So that's all. The XTAB is already installed. To open the program, to go to Start menu and select XTAB. Then it will load. After it loads, we you can start using it you can start a new file or you can open the example files the example files are located on the same folder you installed xtab inside the work folder and the examples folder for example if you load the PE01 this example file will be loaded then you can continue to use XTAP that's all Thank you for your listening.